All right, now in this video, we're going to take a step outside the normal range of topics that I like to cover on my channel, which is to try and keep things as simple as possible. We're going to take a look at how you can determine how much sugar you can add to your musk if we're trying to hit a specific starting gravity and the outcome having a specific alcohol by volume percentage. Hi, I'm Charles and welcome to DIY Fermentation, your site for doing fermentation on a shoestring budget. Give a shout out to kind of a new and upcoming channel. It's not a fermentation channel, but it's a channel called Strange Appetites. And to uh, quote them exactly, uh, this is a channel where they talk about all the strange and random thoughts that are left in the back of your mind in a kind of a humorous and adult themed kind of way. You can find links to that channel above. You'll find links in the description section and probably at the very end of this video. Now then, let's get on to it. Now then, from the onset, I'm just going to point out, is it simpler just to use an online calculator to compute all of this numbers for you? The answer is yes. However, not everything needs to be done online. We can do this manually. So here's what we need to do. There are four steps in trying to determine just how much sugar we actually need. Is that we want to determine just how much sugar we're actually starting out with that's currently in our musk or juice. Say, for instance, if we're starting with the orange or grape juice, we need to know just how much sugar is already there. Step number two is that we need to know how much sugar we're going to need in order to hit our specific starting gravity. For me, my normal number is 1.080, and that's the number that I'd kind of like to try for when I'm, when I'm adding in sugar as the number I want to hit. So we need to know how much sugar we need for that. Third, we want to try and hit a specific ABB. So we want to determine the amount of sugar that we're going to need to hit that ABB. And fourth, we just want to determine how much sugar we actually need in order to hit all four of these targets. And that's what we're going to talk about in this video. So that being said, let's get ready to start this process off. Okay, there's only one piece of equipment that we're going to need in order to make this all work. We're going to need an hydrometer. Now we only need to take one reading, okay? So we don't need to keep this out and about, put it back safely, where it's out of the way, where we don't have to worry about anything bad possibly happening to it. Now another thing that would be kind of nice would be a calculator, but not really needed all that much because the only, the only arithmetic that we're gonna be doing is gonna be subtraction and some multiplication. We're not going to be doing any long division. We're not going to be working with square roots or anything like that. So the calculations are really going to be fairly simple. Now then, that having been said, first thing we need to do is we need to take a hydrometer reading of our musk. Now, I don't happen to have any juice on hand, so we're just going to say my starting gravity, had I taken a reading, was say 1 point, no, let me rephrase that. Yeah, I'll go, I'll go with that one, 1.035. We're going to get rid of all these decimal points. We don't really need to use a lot of those. We're just going to say 1035 is our starting gravity. Okay, so what does that tell us? Not a whole heck of a lot. What we need to do to start the calculations is that we know what our starting gravity is. And we know that the starting gravity of water, which has no sugar in it whatsoever, is 1.000 or 1000. We simply subtract our starting gravity from starting gravity of our musk. It's going to give us 35. That's a number we can work with. Doesn't mean much right now, but basically 35 is our number. Now the next thing we need to do is to determine how much sugar that actually represents. Now there's a scale called, and I can't pronounce this name, so I'm just going to put the name on <laughs> up above <laughs> one way or the other. There's a scale that's commonly used to measure uh, in measurements for determining your hydrometer readings. And basically one degree on this particular scale, your hydrometer reading, is equivalent to 2.7 grams of sugar. So for every degree we go up, that's equivalent to 2.7 grams of sugar. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna multiply our 35, which is what we determine is how much sugar over and above that of water, and we're gonna multiply that by 
2.7, okay? And that's going to give us a figure of 94.5, okay? Basically, it's kind of like 94 grams, 94.5 grams of sugar, but that's not entirely accurate because that's per liter of our musk. Now, say for instance, again, keep the calculations pretty simple, we're making 10 liters of wine, hopefully. So we then need to multiply that 94.5 grams by 10, and that's going to give us 945 grams of sugar that we're starting with in our 10 liters. Now the next thing we need to know is how much sugar do we need to hit our target alcohol by volume level, in which case we're shooting for 12.5% ABV, how much sugar do we need to hit that? And again, the calculations are fairly simple. We know that if, we're, if we want 12.5% ABV, we're going to start with 12.5, and we're going to multiply that by 19. And that 19 is the same as 19 grams of sugar to get 1% of alcohol. That's where the 19 is coming for. For every 1%, we're multiplying that by 19. And that's going to give us a figure of 237.5, actually. But if we multiply that by the number of liters that we're trying to make by 10, then that gives us a number of 2,375 grams of sugar that we would need to hit that. Now, the fourth part of this calculation is basically going to let us know exactly how much sugar we're going to need to hit both our targets of 1.080 and 12.5% ABV. And that's done really very simply like this. We take that last number that we had, that 2,375, and we simply, which is the amount of sugar that we need in total, and we simply subtract the amount of sugar that we actually started with in our original must before adding any additional sugar. And that was that 945 grams of sugar. Now, that comes up to 1,430 grams of sugar is what we need to add to our must to hit our two targets. And that's basically all there is to it. Uh, 1,430 grams of sugar is equal to, God, I had this done. No, I wouldn't even say that. And basically, that's it. Uh, in most of the recipes that you've seen me do, I've already kind of like taken whatever amount of sugar that they recommended and simply used that. At one point, I got burned by simply adding their recommended amount of sugar and it was way more than I really wanted and ever since then I've always added one cup less sugar in my recipes and then made adjustments based on the hydrometer reading to get up to that 1.080 or as close as possible. Well again it, by using these calculations and again yeah these online calculators can do the exact same thing. You now know at the very beginning no guesswork if you want this amount of alcohol at this amount of starting gravity, this is how much sugar you need to add. And really, it's no more simpler than that. Now, of course, hopefully that was simple. Now, of course, if you like what you see here, again, please click on the subscribe and notify buttons. Let me show me some love. Or better yet, become a member. Start really showing me some love. Or even better, become a Patreon and just tell me that you love me. <laughs> and it's as simple as that. But until then, I'll see you in the next video. Hopefully it will be short and sweet. See ya.